Recently, we went to Nigeria. Nigerians are not doing that. Do you know how many shows that Bella Boy has gone to when people didn't come? Do you know how many shows that Whiskey has been to when people didn't come? They all have stories. Whiskey can't come and tell me today because he have like 30,000 to, he doesn't have experience. No. He has stood somewhere for people not to give him fans. But their bloggers don't bring those things out. Recently, when we went to Nigeria, it was like a funeral. When we came back, hey, and I saw more performing your mom fans. Oh, how, how, how? We were just wasting the whole Ghana time to talk about our downfall. Like, we are happy that on some market, except moving busy. Andy, you see me? I don't believe in music promotion now, the way it was from the back in the days. That when you do music, you register it, you do this and you do that and you get your royalties. It's not working like that now. Everything has changed from the books. And if you are not smart enough to know that, oh, music now can't help you more. Some demand you just do, and they are pushing you now. And you know, I'm saying, cool. I'm saying, I'm saying, don't come and blame and you just because you feel, yeah, what a fool, a cram and into a friend. You know that kind of people don't have that mind. But I have gotten that revelation from God that hey, Junior, the music is not like how you are seeing it. Leave them and work on this part. If it works more, you buy a Land Cruiser. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, 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 but speaking about the Nigerian experience, mm. so who performed before you? I think MI, MI performed before and he introduced me. Okay. Mm. When you were getting on the stage, what was going through your mind? Judging from the crowd. I mean, the few clappers that are gotten closer to the stage. Mm. I hear there was some large crowd sitting mm. behind. Yeah, behind. Whom the cameras couldn't really zoom into them yeah. for us to see how they were cheering you up. Yeah. All they showed us was... The executives the, the, and, yes, you know, the and there's big some men, few yeah. people yeah. standing around the mm. stage. Mm. When you were going on the stage, what were you thinking? And this is something that I do every time. Let me let my colleagues in the industry and... You know, at least your panel here know that. I now can perform in front of three people and get paid for a hundred thousand dollar. Three. Oh, uh, shut up. These are my children. <laughs> Come and see, shut up. Oh my god, this guy is uh, sing that your song, Kaka. <laughs> if I'm going in a hall and they give me hundred thousand. So if I go to Nigeria and there is a whole crowd and they feel they will sit and think or what's up themselves in the crowd i don't mind you see that one guy did it i did not come hard for it because as i'm standing there i'm already okay i'm just performing my duty it's not shy us like see i go stage we yeah i go did there where they perform no then people know they shout that they shout no 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 i'm getting my message across artists who feel down spirited when maybe crowd don't cheer them are artists who are fancy artists they want to like oh yeah charlie me call charlie france or no man me know but this is business apart from business i see it more religious for me that who got my message who had the name of god in my music who who saw that guy shatawali i get what i'm saying so people who make statements out of that i see them like oh wow i was the only artist who didn't disgrace disgrace because i told them that is my first time i'm trying this is my second time in nigeria i've been trying to come to nigeria but i don't get a chance but thanks to nana pia mensa who has made this thing possible for me and the crowd were cheering i was singing at you they were singing together until bernard boy came on stage yes i am always the smart guy that i feel oh no jale baby i'm a very dear i'm a baby i'm a baby for a backup so i linked bernard boy and dami queen and i was like jale i'm a day town where you day i'm going meet now say yeah they come i say you're sure i say yeah jale come come we could just go past you they come they can't help me they sort thing out do you understand me all those artists who came to us on radio mako nigeria mako high mako your promotion yeah, I've been, I've been listening to sometimes your interviews and you talk stone boy the way he travels and oh, you went to 30 countries before 30 and there ain't 30 countries, no. And yeah, how well you travel and you the stage you stand on. You see, when God says he wants to move you, just allow him to move you. I won't move to Nigeria because I don't want to go and feel cheap in Nigeria. But Ghana artists will go to Nigeria and they'll be sleeping in cheap hotels, they can't even get better cars to write and you'll be there. And somebody will bring Jinwa going, go, hey, this guy get money. You know. We if they say packaging. I started packaging before Ghana industry started packaging. The music industry, I mean. Because most of them don't know how to package their goods to export them. They think the harbor is for them, so they can just walk there and take their shirt. And just, uh, it's anyway, America, I'm like, oh boy. 
package the thing well let seal it well so that if you are sending it the person says this is some something authentic i will buy this thing more oh can can i order for two thousand thirty thousand that is how you do stuff so all those artists who have been coming on radio and and from today you have to stop them you understand me too much bragging or checking not their back say somebody will check you do look for gold detectors <laughs> and check <laughs> your man check with you <laughs> Me, my chains on my neck. Oh, I'm not even showing them. But if I remove them, I say, Andy, check him, mommy. Bibia, eh, eh, eh. Go, eh, eh, eh. No, Andy, we should grow it. Because, you see, boys are not watching whiskey. You see, whiskey. You meet whiskey, and the kind of watch he's wearing. Andy, $250,000. Me, no, you know, I say, but I just say, you suck a cry. What's my say? Hey, no. So, sometimes, I think the education needs to be more. Because people are finding this thing. Because, right now, artists who just came out yesterday, they are seeing me like their colleagues. And I mean, I'm the whole 23 years old boy. 23, Andy. I mean, he's... Who oh, are 23? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't make kind of... People are seeing me like, oh, is that Shatadi? Oh, no, no. But see, let us learn. I love what I learned from my past, which was from Ghana musicians. And I have told myself, I know, I want to make my Ghana music president proud by Soseko I want to make him proud. I want to make some, some people in the industry like Sadiq proud. God, this is a guy who always tells me, Shut, I believe you can get there. Just, you know, relax. You know, so especially you had the camera. But, you know, and I'm trying to work on those things. Because I feel, okay, oh, Andy loves me so much. Sometimes, okay, let me just tease Andy. Oh, don't let, I don't have to go far. Let me, you know, so, so we should just understand this whole industry thing and just educate, you know, as well. Because Andy, me, I've, I'm educating myself up to now. I've not finished school. After this education, I'm sure I'll go to Legon. Legon, even I'll pass. You know, so people should just understand this thing. You know, you people should, too, should also help them. Because, and most of the artists that come here, sometimes, oh my, can you No, Popo, into a person on bragging. No, because it's a single room. I I heard that, I'm not my single room. They should learn from it, please. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, in Nigeria, mm. after your performance, mm. did you ask questions? Why Ghanaian music or your music? I mean, mm. you are very loud mm. in Africa. Mm. But what happened that day? Have you asked questions, especially in Nigeria? Why is my music not loud in your territory? Mm. Why? Why is my other colleagues' music not loud on your radios? Did you ask questions? Andy, um, it wasn't about the loudness of the song because from our research, we heard in Edo State. Is one of the biggest places for Shatawali. Edo State. Yes, they play my song so much there. And you should check my Instagram. Like, all my comments that are coming in are from Nigeria. Okay. The show we went to... That was, is after your performance. After my performance. Right. The show we went to was a corporate show. It wasn't a street show. It wasn't a Ghana meets Niger type of show. that Like the ones we do here. That you may find a mixture of... Yeah, Ghanaian different Ghanaians and, you know, people who came in there were people who were specially invited. I get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I later heard after the show that the guys in front on the stage... The clappers. Yeah, clappers. Yeah, they were... I I didn't know that. Like, I'll pour water on them. (laughs) Because if you have been paid to come and work, come and cheer, come and cheer. Right. If the person even says something that is not like... (laughs) Laugh. Mm -hmm. Because you've been paid for it. Right. I didn't know about all those things. And you know me, Andy, I don't hide my stuff. I can suck them all from there. So I'll perform to the guys who are big men who are sitting down. Because I've done that at Glow, Glow Cup Awards. I perform at Glow Cup and nobody stood up to do... Wah, wah, wah. And that is professional. But if we go for programs like this and, you know, we have, uh, you know, people in front of the stage like this and they come and behave like this and the artist is not aware of it. But all we know is um, the record label has, you know, sent us to, you know, accomplish something. So let us go and... Me after, I didn't feel no way though, but... Later, when I heard all those things, I was like, yo, sometimes we should just believe in ourselves. I get what I'm saying. We should just believe in doing things ourselves and organizing them well. It means all our shows that we do in Ghana for Nigerian artists, yeah, yeah, Kolo show. Excuse me, you didn't because if we can organize shows and come and put our pretty girls in front of the stage and they'll come and give foreign artists on, and some of them will jump and they won't even die. That means we don't know much about showbiz. It means we do we just do shows and put people in front. Okay, VIP, okay, whatever is going in front. But Nigerians have taught us that we can stage it, we can organize that. Okay, these are the clappers. Okay, they're gonna be in front. Okay, the VIP should be in the back. 
so we can also format our shows because i was telling my manager that how would you even defend this like or tell me if the promoter maybe never told the clappers in front that the nigerians the ghanians but the mama 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 fans the nigerians but then just you know this is one a country now how would you know it's business it's mafia game but we have not learnt it we have not learnt much about showbiz so we when we organize the show they say chris man by the number for abia uh, and you see that thing it has not happened to entold that but abia could show be chris man i know be a bagana i'm a walk off on the year record i'm a damn ass i'm a if you say all because we don't organize our stuff well so i wouldn't say i felt any way when i didn't you know i studied i've learned something and that's what I want the industry to also learn. Mm. Now, a, a lot of industry players are calling for uh, a legislature mm. from government mm. to regulate the number of foreign songs we play on the radio. Mm. And that, at least our Ghanaian songs must be 80-20, there must be a balance. Mm. Let's strike it. So let's say 80% mm. local, 20% mm. foreign. Mm. Do you agree? I mean, like I want 95% safe, of course, Charlie. And you see, we have to try and grow our culture. Are you getting me? people are getting misled with our culture you know uh, i don't believe that we should even accept any music in ghana because we already support the industry our musicians have to get rich andy and you see when this thing is being sent to the government it's going to really make people like that you understand me they, they can say certain things they want to say i don't know what i'm saying Right now, much the day, the, the last time I see somebody won't pay on royalty, they say royalty, they won't pay like 200 or 400 Ghana. How much they do, we get like 10 cars. You get the house, you get things. It's not my colleague at all. I Me, mean, if I'm doing two noise, I'm not my colleague, Me, it's normal. So. But you see, these are people that I watch and I feel, how oh, much the day has also done this? So. Um, Kojuanchi has done this. So. Daddy Lumba has done this. Oh, these boys, they leave them. These are people that government need to respect. We do. We shouldn't wait before a match they do die. Then we we'll come and say, "Oh, he was a legend," and government is giving. You see, Andy. You see that thing. I've told my brother that any of my militants that will maybe there's something or maybe in a in some oh we are bringing something to we. we I can get get back work on Nipa. I only know my call because Nipa need to say no. You people didn't give him that thing, and so if that is what you the media people are trying to do, and we the artists are going to also support. I believe it's a good thing, but let's try and let the government know that we are ready. Because you see the government, when they see that we are not ready, and that is what most of them are seeing, we have some loopholes that we need to study and do and work well. If we don't do these things well, there's no way the government is going to take us serious. After I've been talking to people in government as well for this music industry, and they tell me, shut up, it's your people, they are sure they are serious. I said, Daddy, no, they are serious, you know, because I have like people like you and the Dusty, Sadiq is here. You know, Andy, sometimes when I get pissed, people tell me I don't speak well, but I have people who can speak for me well. If I call Sadiq, oh, Sadiq, this thing, I think because of the way I spoke, so the people want to talk to me. Andy, I beg, just join Sadiq and just go and solve this. You people can solve it for me nicely. And you can let them understand why and the reason why I even did that more. I get what I'm saying. So I believe, you know, if this is what is going to happen, please let us educate the industry more before we approach the government. Because some of these are industry people. They'll go to the government and they'll call one billion. And say, remember, one billion. Everybody planning to one billion will be to me. No, we should understand what we want to do. Well, and we can. Thanks for watching. Do all to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to their channel. And comment. Subscribe.